Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about the top 5 most promising setting radio signals we have received so far. The countdown will go from the least promising radio signal to the most promising one. I would really appreciate if you could please subscribe and, most importantly, activate the notifications. Alright, so now let's start. In 2010, the SETI Institute detected a narrowband radio signal with a duration of 10 seconds. The origin of the signal was a G-type star called TYC1220911, located around 100 light years away. The signal had a frequency of 4462 MHz. In 2017, Breakthrough Initiatives observed almost 700 stars in the search for possible extraterrestrial signals. The result was a total of 11 interesting signals, one of them coming from the K-type star Hyparcos 74981, located 91 light years away. The signal had a frequency of 1384 MHz. It is often said that SHGB02 plus 14A is the most promising radio signal detected through SETI Home. However, there have been other candidate signals more significant. For example, SHGB11 plus 15A was detected by three different users of the project. The signal had a frequency of 1420 MHz, which is the hydrogen line believed to be a possible wavelength that an extraterrestrial civilization would use to contact Earth. In 2017, the Recipe Observatory detected radio signals coming from the Red Dwarf star Ross 128. The star was observed for 10 minutes and it produced wideband radio waves that were almost periodic. Ross 128, located 11 light years away, at least has one potentially habitable exoplanet. This exoplanet has an Earth similarity index of 86% and an average temperature of 25 degrees more than the Earth, if the conditions were the same. The WOW signal was a radio wave detected by the Ohio State University in 1977 using the Big Ear Radio Telescope. The signal was a narrowband continuous wave with a duration of 72 seconds, the maximum time the radio telescope could observe any given point of the sky. The frequency of the signal was 1420.46 MHz. In 2012, an interstellar radio message called the Wolf Reply was sent to several stars but they are located far away from the constellation where the WOW signal was detected. So far, nobody has actually replied to the WOW signal. In 2017, a scientist proposed that natural emissions from two comets could have been the source of the WOW signal. However, the SETI Institute and the scientific community in general have stated that this is very unlikely. Why haven't we received any extraterrestrial signal yet? Well, perhaps they haven't detected Earth or considered it as potentially habitable. Firstly, our television and radio signals haven't reached more than approximately 110 light years, a small distance compared to the size of the Milky Way, which is 100,000 light years. Secondly, if an extraterrestrial civilization had radio telescopes similar to those we have on Earth, our television and radio signals would only be detectable up to 0.3 light years away, and the closest star is 4.2 light years away. Thirdly, so far we have only sent targeted radio signals to one potentially habitable exoplanet, Gliese 273 p, from which any response would arrive to Earth as of 2041. And finally, an extraterrestrial civilization may not have built any radio telescope yet. The first radio telescope built on Earth dates from 1932, less than 90 years ago. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave any comment, suggestion or question below. 
uh, please like, subscribe, activate the notifications, and share this video if you want. Bye bye.